Fire hoses are getting prepped and ready for action. Connecticut's firefighters are burning the midnight oil during this year's busy brush fire season. We get this almost every year this time of year, but I, I plan on not having dinner at home for until it rains. And with no rain in sight, you can bet the Department of Energy and Environmental Protection's firefighters will be keeping busy. What typically spreads our fire is the wind in the spring, and when you add dry fuel with increased winds, you're going to get a faster rate of spread. The dry fuel he's talking about is the dead leaves, branches, and trees littering the forest floors. Yeah, we had uh, two serious storms, snowstorms, hurricanes, that all dropped limbs. A lot of those limbs came down with leaves still attached. And those trees are now starting to dry out. Those are starting to die. Those are starting to become really potential for some uh, good fire buildup. DEP ignited a controlled burn for us to see just how quickly things can get out of hand. See how it kind of doubles and triples and, and then and all of a sudden it just starts to go and then it'll get influence. A small fire like this on a day like today with a constant breeze and dry leaves all around can spread to half an acre within 15 minutes. At a fire danger level of very high, it's not a surprise private brush burning is banned. After we get past moderate fire danger, no open burning is allowed. But no worries, campfires are still allowed, if safely done. I love a campfire in, uh, come the summertime, but just make sure that you take certain precautions. And just have a pail of water handy. If your fire ever gets out of control, the faster you call 911, the faster it can be taken care of. In Marlboro, Mayor Budney, Fox, Connecticut.